On the 14th of November 2011, Intel launched the X79 platform and the world got faster. Adding three extra CPUs to the world's fastest product lineup announced to overkill. Major review sites like KitGuru have been busy generating definitive reviews on the subject. But how does Intel itself see the launch? Here's Intel's guru, Anna Cheng's view of the X79. My dad was a uh, engineer. He was a civil engineer and uh, he, um, he had two girls and he both wanted us girls to be uh, excited about science and, and math and so a lot of what we grew up with was on that side. So my name is Anna Chang. I am the product marketing engineer for EMEA on the consumer client space uh, and uh, I brought with me here today a couple of things for you that I think you'll be very excited about. First one being this really nice CPU. I'm going to open it up. This is the Extreme Edition part, the LGA 2011 Extreme Edition, the i7-3960. So you can see that, you know, this uh, the top area here is where you'll get the contact with the cooling solution. Uh, usually it's a, a fan cooler or you can also have liquid. And if you're really extreme, you'll use liquid nitrogen. Not a lot of people do that. Uh, and then you can take a look at the back here, and this is what the bottom of the processor looks like. This is where all the connectors uh, match with the main board, with the motherboard of the system, and really connects to the rest of your computer. But all of the information, all the technology that powers your PC is in this little package here. Yeah, so, so today's products, the X58 platform and the current i7 products, uh, are in its own league. But we really understand that we have power users out there that continue to want more from us. And we really want to continue to provide that. So a lot of the power users out there, not only the gamers, but also enthusiasts in the media space, really want this type of technology and this type of performance. Uh, this is the Extreme Edition. This one's priced around uh, $1,000 US. In the past couple of generations, the Intel desktop boards team have made leaps and bounds. In the past, we've really been known more for being very stable and being a, a corporate board for vPro, things like that. But our enthusiast board team has been working very hard and also working with uh, overclockers uh, in the community to ensure that it is uh, very well received. Um, and this is the DX79 Siler board or SI board. Uh, and that is it. It's a full ATX board. It is the most common board uh, size out there, but it is pretty much really nice for having that extra expandability here for your graphics cards, sound cards, uh, RAID cards, pretty much anything that a lot of the power users like to have available. Um, so it does have the full uh, 2x16 PCIe, and that means that it has um, the full amount of capabilities for the graphics. And uh, you can take a look here. This is the, uh, the socket for our CPU, for our i7. And if we rotate here, you can take a look at what we have in the, uh, on the, the back of the board here. Um, you know, we have full surround sound and, and audio capabilities. A USB as well as 3.0. Uh, so we'll, we do have super speed USB capabilities and two LAN ports uh, you know, for that extra connectable connectability and, and uh, uh, flexibility there. It's actually much more overclockable than your standard um, i7s that are out on the market today. Uh, you know, so you will have some flexibility regarding you know, the voltages, the speeds, the clocks. Um, and all that is available uh, in the BIOS for overclocking. So what you might have noticed is uh, these here are actually the heat sinks for the voltage regulators. Uh, and we really only have one, uh, you know, south bridge, north bridge. Um, in the past, when the X58, it was still a three chip solution. Since we moved to the Sandy Bridge architecture, we actually now only have two chips. And if you look in the back, you can kind of see that we have a 
back plate for the CPU socket because of its size. And then if you see here with these little screws here, that's actually the PCH as we call it now. So it's only a two chip solution here. So a lot of it, uh, a lot of the technologies from the ICH uh, in the past generation, pack ar architecture has been absorbed into uh, the two packages here. If you're a champion gamer or a performance enthusiast, this is the board for you. Fascinating stuff, and while gamers and overclockers will get a boost from X79, it's a must-have technology for anyone doing serious video processing. In the world of media, time is money, and with X79, you simply will get a lot more done.